Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, then my name is Rosie and my channel is basically me giving you kind of insight into Oxford University life and trying to widen access as much as I can by providing content to help people get into university, particularly Oxford. This video has been particularly requested on Instagram. I do a lot of polls on my story on Instagram to get you to like talk about what you want in my videos and what you want to see. So yeah, today's video is a room tour, which used to be a very popular video amongst uni YouTubers. You guys really want to see what accommodation is actually like. So here goes. Before I begin, I'd actually just like to explain a bit about St Peter's accommodation just for like context so in first year you live on the college site in one of two buildings there's new block and matthews block new blocks really nice it's like got little rooms that are split into almost a living area and a sleeping area with like an archway they're kind of average size about the same size as the one i will show you now matthews block are bigger but they're just a square with like a bed in the corner and the sinks in the wardrobe so without an archway so it depends if you want like an artsy room or I guess an airy room, almost. In second year at St Peter's you have to live out. College doesn't have accommodation on site that can accommodate second years unless you are JCL president or you have like a welfare issue that means that you would be better staying within college. And they can accommodate you that. For example, if you need a room close to the nurse, they can do that for you. They have welfare rooms on site. In third year, why have I got six? In third year, the rooms are on several sites, so you can be on the main college site, you can be in this building, which is St Thomas Street, and you can be in St George's Gate, which is just across the river from here. Or you can live out, but not many people continue to live out because it's expensive. Um, yeah, really, really expensive. So, as I found out, not actually much more expensive than living in college accommodation. So, in college accommodation, for first year, it was £144 a week with bills included. I assume that's probably gone up now because of inflation. Um, these rooms that I'm going to show you, you don't like, it's not banded like some colleges, so you can't say, okay, I want to be in the lowest band so I can pay less or the highest band to pay more. You just choose what building you want. And some rooms are cheaper because they don't have en suites on the main site, but they're also right next to the bar. So for a third year, you don't really want to be disturbed late at night. Prices wise, this building and St George's Gate are 157 a week, bills included, which is, is steep. It's extremely steep. Yeah, uh, wasn't very happy when I found out that. We do have kitchens on site, and if you watched my Day in the Life video, you will see the kitchen there. They are big, they're really, really nice. St George's Gate also have kitchens but I haven't actually been there so I don't know what it looks like. In the college site there's three buildings that you can have. That is Staircase 2 which is like they're big rooms but they're not en suite. Staircase 3 is all en suite. They're like the nicest rooms you can get and I think they are the most expensive by like £2 a week. They also have kitchens. Um, and staircase 4 doesn't have kitchens. Also, I don't think it has ensuite, so like that's the cheapest one, but that's the one that's right by the bar that I was talking about. And actually, now I've come to think of it, there is one more building, because it's brand new, there is the Perodo building, which only has six rooms in it, but they are all ensuite as well. They're, they're really quite swanky, actually. They're really nice. Like walk into my room this this is it from a distance that is that is my room <laughs> um, yeah it's it's nice I like it we also have a bathroom in here it's nice enough I'll like talk about it properly in a second I'm just gonna start this wall 
So I have a really, really big notice board here with some fairy lights that plug into the mains so I'm not using batteries because they're bad for the planet and also I'm not paying for the electrics. So. So yeah, here I have a timetable of my Human on Studio Archaeology lectures, practicals and essays. All of the essays are there. Okay, fair enough. Doesn't want to focus. And I have my prize certificate up here. My access certificate from the SU, which is really nice. Some more notices and then Loads of photos. I would quite like more photos. So ideally, I wanted like this step to keep going. So it would go like down, down, down. Oh shit, my phone. So next up after my notice board is my clothes rail. Um, this is mainly just coats because they were too bulky to fit in my wardrobe. But I have got some dresses on here as well. Uh, I don't know, I just quite like them out there. And then some shoes. Down here. I'm just sneaking out of that, you can see my clothes- oh. Shit. Clothes hot. And here we have a wardrobe. It is brushed mahog mahogany. No, it's probably plastic, actually. Um, yeah. Up here are my gym clothes, not that you really care, but you know, just showing you how to use space efficiently. It's just, you know, your average wardrobe, but I love it. What? Next to my wardrobe, I have my fridge with my kettle and a speaker, apparently. This little table was by my bed, but there was no room by my bed, so I moved it here. And I've got like pajamas in this one, and some underwear in there, and my wash bag, which really nicely matches my bed. And if we come here, we see the window. It's it's a quite nice window. I like the the view, and oops, oh, I thought I could see the castle, but you really can't. Damn it. So I also have my little candle, which before I get told off for having in my room, is actually sealed. Still, look, I haven't, it's not open and it won't ever be lit, don't worry, I've had the fire safety talk. And this is my chair. I've never sat on this chair. Here's my desk. I actually really, really like my desk. I don't know if everyone has got this like blue tabletop to it, but for me it works really well because all of my folders are like also that colour, they're all from Sainsbury's and that obviously my bed matches that too. So for me that worked out really well and I've even coordinated my diary to it. I have some really nice flowers which I did not buy myself and a super cool cup which, which I totally just put there for the video. My laptop lives here normally. Oh, and that is disgusting. On my shelves, this weekly planner is quite clearly really well used. Um, I like to be super organised. This is my blender. I love my blender. So my fruit bowl is here. It's not really a fruit bowl, it's like a Pyrex uh, dish, oven, oven dish thing. Now we come to the best part of the tour. This this is where I sleep. It's a single, but I put my pillows like this to make it look bigger, and I think it works. Um, and this this pillow. Oh no. See. Hmm. I kind of want it silver. Come on. And this brings me to my. Second notice board. So this one I decided to buy like little sunflowers. <laughs> That's my best friend. Go best friend. I threw paint at her and then took pictures. So I decided to buy like little sunflower lights because they're cute and I just watched a Netflix film. Oh my gosh, what's it called? 
the one with the sunflower sun. So I've got all my photos, some pickets and stuff, all like, you know, basic white girl uni room, ta-da. And here, my whiteboard with my essays. So I just do it by week because if I was going to actually write all of my work then I wouldn't be able to fill the whiteboard, which is sad. But there's my calendar now. I don't write stuff on my weekly planner, but I yesterday I did write lots of things on here, on, on my calendar. And right here I have my lecture timetable, otherwise I, I forget everything. Now for the exciting part, I have an extra room. So I've never had an ensuite before, so this, this is cool. So, hi, here's me. Cleaning things, the, the toilet whatever they are, shampoos, shower, and a dial which is really hard to control the temperature of. What does this do? I actually haven't... Okay, I don't... I'm gonna turn that off. So this is my room. And it's normally quite dark, so I've got the light on, but there's actually quite a lot of light coming through at the moment. I'm really loving it. Most rooms in my accommodation block are actually bigger than this one, particularly the rest of them on this floor are bigger. I don't know why I ended up with a small one. Look of the drawer. But it's just the way that the roof falls because we're in the loft. So I've got like the slanting roof, which is fine because I'm short. And also uh, I think there's like a cupboard next to me. So like the next door room is gigantic because they've decided to cut the rooms in half really unfairly but I think my room's actually gonna be pretty warm because my heating is really good like the radiator is just behind the desk I didn't show that because it's a radiator but it, it's really warm and it kind of smells funny but I've been told that it'll go normal eventually that is the end of my room tour I really don't have anything else to show you there is nothing else in here that is remotely of interest all of my food is obviously in the kitchen, so I don't like have a stash or anything. I'm in a really sarcastic mood today, sometimes it happens, so I'm sorry if I was just more annoying than normal, but if you enjoyed this content or just are really keen to learn more about Oxford, regardless of whether you actually like me, then give me a subscribe because I will keep making content, and also give me a thumbs up and write some comments because I like responding to you guys. Um, my socials are all linked in the description and also let's see if I can do this right now. <sighs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day. Yeah, see you next time. Bye!